So I get a lot of people that ask me, um, how did I pass my master's test or my journeyman's test? You know, like what did I do in order to pass it? Um, because it's a it's a tough test. It's really difficult to take. Um, and I just want to get there out this out there first. Like I don't know if I passed it like a hundred percent or barely by one. I have no idea. Um, you know, at the end of my test, it was either a pass or a fail. Like it didn't give me a percentage, didn't give me the amount of questions I answered correctly. Like I have no clue, absolutely no clue. Um, let's just assume I passed it by one, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, so what I did was I scheduled the test on a Saturday in the morning. Um, and I think I scheduled it out like a month month and a half out um it might have honestly been like the first saturday that was available um was when i scheduled it and what i did every single saturday before that i would take a practice test i took that practice test through test.com um i will send a link or put a link in the description below and i can actually see some of my practice tests that i did um, my very first one, I got a 68%, um, which it was not passing. Uh, and then my, the one, but I think this is my last one, was only 74%. So I only got marginally better. Um, but it was enough. It was enough to get, to get me through the finish line. Um, so every single Saturday, I would take a practice test. It would be four hours long. And... You know, I had no distractions, no phone, no no animals in the room, like nothing. I would do that every single Saturday and just see how I did, you know. Uh, and then on top of that, I would also watch this guy on YouTube called Electrical Code Coach. Uh, you know, he, at least at the time, I think he still does, would put out little videos every single day that would just be like electrical code questions that I would, it's kind of like Duolingo where, you know, you just do a little snippet, just a little snippet every single day. You know, my fiance, every single night she's doing Duolingo. Um, I can hear her speaking some language. I have no idea what the heck she's saying. Don't have a clue, but she's very slowly learning Japanese um, through doing that. So it's like the exact same thing. I would just use the electrical code coach and use his little videos and community posts to kind of like test me every single day. Just a little bit, you don't have to do a whole lot. Um, I would say, you know, obviously the more practice tests you get in, the better you're gonna do. Um, but I also understand it's four hours long, you know? That's hard to do as you also work, you know, eight to 12 hours a day. Like that's, it's really tough, but um, you know, if it's on a Saturday, dedicate your Saturday, at least Saturday morning, that's what you're doing. Um, and make sure you have a good breakfast before you go and take tests. I, I swear, I think that does a lot. Um, so I would do that and then, you know, as I'm working, if there was ever anything that we did that was like, you know, we did it because of code or, or whatever, I would go and find that code. Um, so during my work day, I would look for reasons to look into the code book. Um, just use the code book as much as you possibly can. You know, these tests are not about memorization. It's about utilization. It's how you utilize your code book and, and find the answers. Um, you know, I got my code book right here. Uh, this is the one that I used for the test. Um, and you know, you can see it, it's totally tabbed out. You should have a tab book. Um, and then, you know, throughout the book, I have highlights of, you know, things that are just common um, and, you know, need an eye pop. Um, so highlight it. And then at the very back of the book, I also, you know, there's pages that have blank, nothing on them. I would write my notes, notes of like, calculations mainly because um, there you know there's gonna be a lot of math that's gonna be involved so you're it's easy to just to have the calculations ready to go rock and roll um, and then I would also have you know like here it says residential service so if I need to know like what wire size for residential residential service I actually have the page number that's written out right there 
It's 824. So quickly go to 824. And boom, it's right there. And it's highlighted too. Um, so you can use those pages as notes. Um, I don't think you can write any notes on, you know, the, on the pages that have like actual code. Uh, you can highlight it. That's not a problem. I, this is just for my state. I think there might be some other rules for other states, but for Virginia, that's that works for me. Um, you're not allowed to have, you know, an additional sheet of paper or anything. Um, so utilize the book. Learn how to utilize it. Uh, and and yeah, you know, I think that um, that's that's honestly all I did. And again, I don't know if I passed it 100% or by one, um, but I passed it uh, first try. I, and honestly, I went in. I did not expect me to pass it first try. Like I, I didn't. I, and again, I'm a horrible test taker. Um, I just I get a lot of anxiety, and uh, and you know, also getting me to sit down and focus on one thing for four hours straight is, um, it's tough. <laughs> uh, but I, I promise you it's, it's worth the effort. Um, and, and, you know, you got to give up, a, you know, several Saturdays, got to do what you got to do. I promise you it's worth it in the end. Um, so good luck. Good try or uh, blah, blah, blah.